Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record multiple MIDI drum parts on one track or layering in Reaper. Now, I have a project here where I've already set up a drum machine on this track using Reaper Sampler Resamplematic 5000. Let's take a look at it. I have a kick, a snare, a clap, a pair of hi hats, and a voice. And in a previous video, I showed you how to record this like a drum machine. But let's review. We set up a loop by creating loop points from bar one to bar three, turning on looping, going to the record setting over here, and choose MIDI overdub right over here. And now we could overdub parts right on top of each other. We'll create an item right here and record into it. And we also set up input quantize to quantize on the way in. So we'll right click over here, track recording settings, and turn on input quantize and 16th notes. So now we're going to quantize on the way in. So now if we go into record, we can record multiple parts in this one item. And just like that, we recorded a drum machine part in one pass. And we could edit it all together just by double clicking the item. And the entire part is right here. But the only problem is they're all in the same item. And you may not want to work that way. You might prefer to separate them into different items for each pass or each instrument. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So let's clear this. Let's go back to the normal record mode. Right over here, record input. Instead of using MIDI overdub. Then we'll go to the option menu. Under new recording that overlaps existing items. And switch it to creates new media items in separate lanes or layers. So we'll choose this. Then we'll go to the project settings, go to advanced, and switch item mix behavior to items always mix. This way, if we have multiple items on one track, we're going to hear them all. And we should also turn on one of the monitoring feature. If we right click over here, we could turn on monitor track media when recording. This will allow us to hear back a previous pass while recording another on the same track. So let's turn this on as well. Now we're ready to record our part in multiple passes. Starting with the kick, then the snare, then the claps, hi-hat, and the voice. Let's give it a shot. Now the one difference with this mode is we have to punch out to hear the previous pass. So let's punch out and record the snare. Punch out and punch in to do the claps. Punch out, let's do the hi hat. Punch out to hear it. And now let's do the voice. Punch out.
and we have the whole part right here. But as you can see, each pass is recorded. As it's layered, we could delete the unwanted ones very easily because they're empty. This one and this one. And that should be all the parts. Our kick, our snare, the clap, the hi-hat, and the voice. And if we want to edit them separately, we can. We can edit the kick all by itself right here. Or the snare. Or the clap. Or the hi-hat. Because they're separate MIDI items. And we can also arrange the song a bit more easily. Let's select all of them and copy and paste them on this bar. Turn off looping. Let's paste it again and again and again for as many bars as we need. And now we could arrange our part right from here. Let's select them all and mute them all and just turn on the ones we want. Maybe a kick and the voice. So you can create an arrangement very easily by turning the items on and off, which is a bit harder to do the way we did it before. But there is another mode or a different way of recording this that I should show you, and that's using takes, which is helpful if you're not sure you can perform this in one pass. Let me show you. Let's delete all this. Let's put back our loop from bar one to bar three, and this time, Let's go to the Options menu, under the same area, but turn on Always Add Takes to new recorded items when looping. So now if we loop like this, it's going to create takes instead of layering each part. Although we're still layering, but each part can have multiple takes. So I'm going to make some mistakes on each take so you can get the idea. And then we'll hit Shift T to choose the previous take to listen back to or keep, and we'll keep moving on one part at a time. Let's give it a shot. Punch out, hit Shift T to hear the previous take, which is the good one, go back into record to record the snare. Punch out, shift T, to the previous well-performed take, and then add the clap by punching in again. Punch out, shift T, punch back in for the hi-hat. Punch out, shift T, punch back in for the voice. Punch out, shift T, now to keep all the best pieces, just select them all, on PC hold an ALT, shift T, on Mac 
hold an option shift T, that's going to crop to all the active takes. In other words, it's going to keep just the good ones. And just like that, we have all the best pieces or best takes we performed. And once again, we could edit each one separately or create an arrangement very easily. Just select them all, copy, and paste them at bar three and at bar five, and so on. Then we can mute all of them and just turn on the ones we want. So that's pretty much it. That's recording multiple MIDI drum parts on one track using layers in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.